so that remember that the z-score is OBW minus EBW on top. And EBW is 2 times the number of joins, so 2. We had 24 total joins. We had 7 black cells, 9 white cells, 16 cells in total, and N minus 1 is 15. When we do all of these multiplications, we see that the expected number of black-white joins is 12.6. So if the data that was split up between black and white cells in this way, if that data set were completely randomly distributed on the map, we would expect to see 12.6 black-white joins. What about the standard error? This one is pretty complicated to compute. Uh, but it's really just a matter of plugging in all of those numbers that we had before. So Let's first compute the x and the y. This was the formula for x. And we decided that the sum of L times L minus 1 is 104. We had 7 blacks and 9 whites over 16 times 15, n times n minus 1. Gives us 27.3. This is the formula for y. Again, it looks horrifying, but it's really not so bad. We're just going to plug in all the numbers. So the number of joins is 24 times 23 joins minus 1. This sum of L times L minus 1, that's 104. Then we've got blacks times blacks minus 1, and whites times whites minus 1, all over n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3. So when we compute this big multiplication, we get y equals 124.1. Now we need to plug x and y into the square root and plug in the expected value of black-white joints, which we calculated on the previous slide, that EBW equals 12.6. So to plug everything back in, we're on this line now. We have EBW is 12.6 minus 12.6 squared plus x, that was this over here, plus y, which is this over here. And when we add this all up and take the square root, we get the standard error to be 2.29. So now we need to plug everything back into our z statistic. The observed number of black-white joints was 11, and the expected was 12.6 and we calculated the standard error to be 2.29. In the end, we get a z-score of minus 0.7. We can use the p-value technique to find that the p-value of minus 0.7 is 24%. So in other words, if this was our sampling distribution over here, this over here is a z equals to zero. Here we have z equals zero. We had a 10% test, so we it was a left tail test, so we had 10% of the area in here. And our test statistic was a z equals minus 0.7, somewhere over here. We can use Excel or the table of probabilities to determine that the area to the left of this test statistic, so this area in here, is equal to 0.24, or equal to 24.2%. In this case, P is greater than alpha, in which case we fail to reject the null hypothesis.